off for a walk. <laughs> right. Well, I'm up. Um, what's it called? What's it called? Uh, can't remember. Broccoli Coombe. Heading up Broccoli Coombe, so we're going to uh, take turn up into the woods. So she had a, she's had her usual walks, but she hasn't been out on a proper one for a while, so we'll take her out there today. There we are. Goes up into there. Look, Darren, go in that way, look. Shards come in. Nope. Right. Now this is, um, is it bride away? used to get the 4 before it used to come up through here, but I think fortunately they churned it up a little bit, so um, looks like they've put a gate on here now. Horse riders, yeah. Public ride away, yes. Right, come here then. Come here, let's take your lead off. Right, go on then. Are we going up this way? Oh, then we have to try and find our way through here somewhere. Oh, then we have to get through here, look. Oh, that's it. It's lovely and cool. It's a lovely warm day today. And uh, it's really nice and cool in here. Really quite nice. Yeah, it's lovely. So you can hear that, little birds tweeting up in the trees. Ooh. Oh, look at this. Ooh. Oh dear. <laughs> That's a bit sloppy. Come on in, Missy. We're going up this way, look. Come on, I'm going up here. That's it. Come on, then. Let's go up here and have a look. Look at that. The old arthritis has completely disappeared, look. <laughs> as soon as you get a bit of a uh, bit of positive mind into it, thinking, oh yes, I'm going out for a nice walk. You know, you, you feel better already. Look at her. Look. <laughs> She's been a little bit, a bit funny the last couple of days. Because um, the old arthritis has been getting to her and been having trouble getting up and down the stairs and that but as you can see I think it's probably the fact that she, she was a little bit depressed because she hadn't been out which is like the rest of us isn't it you know if we don't get out or get out there and do something we're just gonna get stuck in a rut which unfortunately is what happens so what you say is give yourself a good kick up the bum get out there and enjoy it because it's far too nice to stay in the worst See where the old um, mountain bikers have been. Go on, look at the ruts. Imagine getting your tyres stuck in there. <laughs> oh, someone did look. <laughs> you can hear it. Oh dear, I lost my tyre. That's off a lorry, isn't it? It was pretty big. And that's a lorry tyre. There's my tail. Yeah. So peaceful. It's like coming out to um meditate. We didn't get 
gone very far. It appears um, Tarn's decided she's had enough. <laughs> Poor old soul. So uh, we're heading back already, which is a bit of a shame. I was quite enjoying the walk. Did about, um, I suppose we were supposed to go on about half a mile, if that. And then um, I think what it might have been, there's a shooting club near here, over that way. And um, I think she might have heard some of the bangs and decided, ooh, don't like that. So, um, yeah. anyway, head back to the van and have a cup of tea, I think. Can you guess what it is yet? <laughs> you got it. It's bits of car. There used to be a car here. It uh, gradually rusted away. I think it was an old Morris Minor or something like that. Anyway, that's, um, that's about all that's left of it now. Poor old thing. Yeah, I used to, um, when this was a bridal way, when this was proper bridal way and it was open, the, um, and there was no gate on the end. The um, used to get the boy racers coming out from Bristol, and they used to pinch, pinch the cars from in Bristol, bring them up here, and set fire to them. Because so at one time, we used to get quite a few cars dumped up here. <sighs> Women times ran back to the car. She's always doing that. I have no idea where she's gone now. Turn this way. Right, see you in a minute. Well, hopefully she's back at the car because there's no sign of her up there. Oh, she wouldn't do this. Where is she then? Is she here? Turn. Oh, well, there she is. Oh, for goodness sake, wish she wouldn't disappear. Dear, you get me all worried. You do when you wander off. Uh, got you got the customary stick though. Let me know. Hey, great dollop. She wouldn't disappear. Right, have a cup of tea now. What a funny dog. Look, I said to you, you want to come and sit round the back with me? Hey, she's quite happy to sit in here. You coming out? You gonna come and sit round the back with me? I'm making a cup of tea. You gonna come and sit out here? She seems quite happy to sit there, so I'll open the window a little bit. And um we'll leave her to it then. <laughs> you funny girl. Right, now a cup of tea then. Boiling. Yeah, it's nice. That's the beauty of having a van, you see, you can just pull up anywhere you like. Pull over, got enough space to sit over and make a cup of tea. Lovely. <laughs> this is what I've started doing. It was um it's one of Rick's ideas actually. I uh, originally I used to carry UHT um litre bottles, um, cartons of milk, but of course if you only want one cup of tea then you've got to open the whole carton just for that, so he said why don't you get some of those little sachet pot things, so that's what I've done. So I went on eBay, I think it was about £3.20 for 25 or something, but um, just got all load of them, so brilliant, a couple of them, a cup of tea, and it means I don't have to worry about milk because I've always got some of them in. Yes, it's out there.